Hi there, Connie here. Let's talk about how to uh, customize your invoices in QuickBooks Online and get that logo on top. So I'm in QuickBooks Online here. I just had an opening page. I'm gonna go to the left side here, go to sales, and then from sales, I'm gonna go to invoices. So kind of top here and create an invoice. So mine's showing here because I'm on a brand new um, set of books here. So there's no invoices in here yet. You, your, your create invoice might be over to the right side. So create invoice. Now from here, we actually wanna to go to the very bottom and where it says customize, you're going to go, you can say edit current, which is editing the standard invoice that QuickBooks gives you, or you can even create a new style. We'll stick to editing the current one. So edit current. Now I already have my logo on this one. Um, so just know that uh, that's okay. We're still, if you have no logo showing, we can still make it work. So at the, on the very first screen here, it says make logo edits. So you're going to click that plus sign. And where you see my logo showing, it probably will just have a big plus sign there. Um, so you're going to hit the plus sign. And then um, I'm not sure if you have the second plus sign or not, but that this one here is where I'd say, okay, I want to use my mission logo. You won't have one yet if you haven't uploaded a logo yet. So you would hit the plus sign and then browse on your computer to find your logo. So let's pick. I should pick a different logo, shouldn't I? So you can see that there's a bit of a difference. Let's just pick the mouse black. Okay, so if I say I want that logo, I hit save. Then you see how it changed to that logo on my invoice. So if I say done, then as long as I just have to double check, um, right? When I'm in an invoice, ready to send an invoice to my customer, if I go down to customize, if the standard one is the one that I changed and that's the one that's checkmarked, then that's the one that's gonna have the, the logo on it. If you made a new style and you create a second invoice type, then just make sure that's the one that's checkmarked when you send that invoice to your customer so that you have that logo on it. And then to verify, you could always hit print preview to look at it on the screen before you send it out to your customer. Okay, because in QuickBooks Online, of course, rather than save and close, you've got save and send as an option, provided of course you put the email address of your customer in that invoice. All right, so that's just a quick lesson on how to add your logo to the invoice. Hopefully that helps you and you can get that done. Thanks, bye-bye.